and uh, fellow council members, uh, this is uh, Metro Council announcement time for members of the council to make announcements concerning their uh, community. Um, all members are welcome to get into the queue and speak their mind if they wish. So with that in mind, I, Councilman Bedney, are, is this, were you in queue for the, Councilman Bedney. Yeah, I, I tried to place a trick to see if I could be first on the agenda. You I are. succeeded. Congratulations. All right. So uh, thank you. Uh, I wanted to uh, let people know in District 31 that the Air Pollution Control Board meeting at the state of Tennessee uh, is going to have a, a follow-up uh, Air Pollution Control Board public meeting on March the 9th. And uh, that's going to be at 9.30 in the morning on the uh, Snowgrass, I can never say that word right, the, the white tall building in, that is owned by the state. That's an important meeting if uh, for people that are concerned about air quality and gas compression stations uh, in Davidson County. So I encourage people uh, interested uh, to try to attend the meeting and, and share with the board, with the commissioners, how they feel about it. Uh, a couple of uh, small items, there is a, there is a rezoning uh, uh, on Evergreen on Old Hickory Boulevard, and I got a letter that the, it won't be heard at the coming this week's uh, planning commission meeting that is going to be deferred. So if people are watching this, uh, we're planning on attending, uh, it, won't be, it won't be heard at this planning commission meeting. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councilman Bedney. Councilman Coleman. Thank you, Speaker Pro Tem, Pride Moore. I want to announce two meetings uh, to the people of the 33rd District. The first meeting is on March the 14th at 6 p.m. at Edison Elementary School. It is a rezoning request to zone 20 acres of property from AR2 to uh, RM10 and some numbers between 158 acres is proposed. I would like all the neighbors to come out in the Hamilton Church area. Uh, this is very important. You'll get a chance to weigh in. This zoning has not gone to the Planning Commission, so you'll get two opportunities to uh, position yourself on it. So you want to make sure you come out, all the neighbors in the Hamilton Church area, Mount View Road, Hobson Pike, this is your meeting, 6 p.m. on March the 14th. The second meeting is March the 18th at Long Hunter State Park for my Hermitage community in the 33rd District. We will be talking about the reappraisal process along with the tax freeze along with some conversation about Baker's Grove project concerning the Toon property. That's something that we have been hearing about for quite some time. I've asked the developers to come and give you a snippet of what will be asked of you. So you want to come out so we can get out in front and ask the questions that you need before the community consider whether or not the rezoning would be proper for the community. So I look forward to seeing you on the 14th community, and I look forward to seeing you on the 18th. And uh, any council member in that area, if you'd like to come in and chime in on a reappraisal process, if you're at the end of the line, I understand this is the last meeting you're going to have. I'm awful sure that they will entertain any questions that you may have, even if it's not your district, in particular those over in the Hermiton Donaldson area that may not have gotten a chance to come to some of the reappraisal meetings. So that opportunity will be out there with you, for you rather, and you can go to our council website if you need more information or you can call me at 615-641-5168. I look forward to seeing you all. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. Thank you, Councilman Coleman. Councilman O'Connell. Thank you, Mr. President. I uh, just had a couple quick announcements. Uh, one of those is that the Property Assessor's Office, uh, Ms. Vivian Wilhoyt, will be hosting a meeting on that issue of assessments, uh, and I'm sure that there will be information as well about the trustee managed property tax freeze and relief programs. Um, that is going to be taking place this Thursday, March 9th, from 6 to 7 p.m. at Mount Zion's Jefferson Street location. That's 1112 Jefferson Street. Again, that's from 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, we are, if you need more information about that, please visit uh, the Property Assessor's website. That's P A 
dctn.org. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention that should be exciting for all Nashvillians uh, is that on Friday, uh, the mayor's office launched their Opportunity Now portal. Uh, so basically, this is uh, an initiative that is trying to recruit both uh, employers, but also youth in Nashville so that uh, young people in, in the city can get connected to uh, good summer jobs and hopefully set up a, a lifetime of opportunity. Uh, you can find out more information about that portal at on.nashville.gov. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman O'Connell. Council Lady Berkeley Allen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, two events I want to make sure people are aware of. First of all, if it hasn't been announced already, um, Metro Parks is having their annual Arbor Day celebration on March 9th at 11 at the Centennial Park Event Shelter. And uh, it's a great event every year, but in particular this year, they'll be honoring Betty Nixon, who was my predecessor as a council member uh, in this district, among some other uh, also very worthy dignitaries. So I hope that people, um, especially from District 18, will come out and, uh, and be part of honoring Betty Nixon at this Arbor Day celebration. And also just to make sure people remember that nominations for the Historic Preservation Awards are due on Friday, March 10th. That is an, uh, an opportunity to recognize great historic preservation of um, homes or commercial properties, and you can find out information about that on the Metro Historic Commission website. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Allen. Councilman Elrod. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. Um, I don't think anybody has announced it or talked about about the uh, March 11th meeting yet, uh, but March 11th at the South Precinct will be a meeting also from uh, Vivian Wilhoit's office on the property reappraisals. But I think the key thing about this meeting is that uh, you'll be able to, if you bring your spouse, bring the relevant, do uh, relevant documents, uh, you can sign up for property tax freezes and that kind of thing. Um, so it's March 11th this Saturday at the South Precinct at 10 o'clock in the morning until 1130. So um, if you have any questions about the property reappraisal, please show up to that. But more importantly, and most importantly, um, get your documents together as far as income verification, proof of age, uh, proof of home ownership, and that way you can sign up on site and that morning uh, for the property tax freeze because the deadline is next month. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Elrod. Council Lady Vercher. Stand by. Okay. Thank you, Speaker Pro Tem. Uh, I want to make an announcement to District 28 uh, neighbors to let them know about the upcoming uh, meeting, property reappraisal, property tax meeting this Saturday at South Precinct from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And that address is 5101 uh, Harding Place. This is an opportunity for our seniors to come out and to apply for tax relief programs and tax freeze programs. So bring all pertinent uh, documents so that you can apply for those uh, programs. Also, I want this to be a reminder to our seniors that's currently on those programs. You do need to recertify your eligibility for the programs and you have to do that every year. So we're bringing this service out to Southeast. And again, it's this Saturday at 5101 Harding Place, South Precinct. Thank you, Councilor Virtue. Councilman Coleman. You have Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. I uh, talked to one of my constituents on the outside, and uh, we started chatting a little bit, and I forgot about one important announcement, and that we're really proud that the Thornton gas station operation is coming. That grand opening is March the 17th. You can go to our website, I mean, not our website, but our Facebook, District 33, and we'll give you all the particulars. But we are going to open the Thorntons at Interstate 62. It's going to be a good operation. It's going to be a good time. They want everybody to come out. They want to be community oriented. So it's a good time for everybody in the southeast portion of Davidson County to come out and uh, see what the new Thornton is going to bring to our community. And thank you again, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to uh, have a second term. Thank you, Councilman Coleman. Council Lady Johnson. Thank you, Speaker Primor. Uh, District 29, uh, please mark your calendars for Saturday, um, March 18th from 11 to 1 uh, to come and uh, bring neighbors who need to fill out applications for their tax freeze, tax deferral, tax relief. Charlie Cardwell and his staff, he's going to have two staff members there at the First Tennessee 
uh, Bank Branch in Nashboro Village um, in the conference room to help um, our seniors fill out uh, tax freeze, tax deferral, and tax relief because of the deadline being on April the 5th. So we wanna make sure that those who qualify have access, who may not be able to make it downtown um, to his office to fill out those forms, that um, they have a convenient way of being able to fill out the papers and get those in for the April 5th deadline. So again, please uh, share this with your neighbors. It will be going out on the neighborhood list that um, Charlie Carwell and his team, two members of his staff, will be at the First Tennessee Bank Saturday, March 18th from 11 to 1 at uh, 2360 Murfreesboro Road. Thank you. Thank you, Council Lady Johnson. Councilman O'Connell. Thank you, Mr. President. This is not me rising to uh, re-up on any of my own announcements. I know that uh, Council Lady Wiener went home today not feeling well and will not be joining us for the meeting tonight, so I did ask her if she had any announcements. Uh, she did have one. I wanted to announce that she has a community meeting on Saturday, March 25th, at 9 a.m. at the Bellevue Library. So uh, I did want to make that announcement on her behalf. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Councilman O'Connell. Seeing no other councilman, council persons in the queue, uh, I'm sorry, Councilman Hastings, a late arrival. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Chair, uh, for, for what you do. But I, I just wanted to rise. I have I have two things. So one in District Two, uh, we have a. It's actually a big event for all of us. We the last major hotel that opened up in Metro Center. It was the Maxwell House Hotel, which a lot of us know about, and uh, actually heard about their history. Maxwell House used to be here downtown Nashville until it burned down years ago. Uh, there is a new hotel that actually opened up. Uh, the actual first night is actually tonight, but uh, it is the Marriott Fairfield Inn and Suites. It is the new Marriott Inn and Suites. Uh, they will have a ground well opening ceremony on April 20th at 4:30 from 4:30 to 7. Uh, they are actually uh, had a breakfast uh, thing that is opened up for everybody to come by and taste the breakfast of the hotel. So. Uh, we, we're going to plug that in for you as well, for those of you that like, you know, the hotel breakfast. But uh, we invite you to April 20th in District 2 as we go forth. And there are several hotels that are coming to this area, and we look forward to move on from there. But I would also, on a serious note, I would also like to tell the community of Nashville, thank you very, very much, and also all of you who was were here on last council meeting when there was some language pointed out and uh, I didn't think it would go as far as it did. It actually made national news. It was on MSNBC. Uh, I don't have to talk about it. And uh, I think everybody here kind of knows about it, but there was some inappropriate things that were pointed out at, out as me as the council. I would like to tell everybody, thank you very much for your calls. I had a lot of them for your, your notes, for your concerns, as well as your prayers. Uh, this is not an easy job of what we do. We work really, really hard for all of our constituents, and we're gonna continue to do that. Uh, we take, take really hard licks sometimes, but there are some things that are uncalled for, and we're not gonna continue to let that happen. But I'd like, again, like I said before, thank all of the council members and the vice mayor, mayor, and all the other elected officials that called out uh, and in care and also prayers uh, to me re regarding what happened on last council meeting. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, Nashville, for what you do. And we're going to continue to serve you with everything that we have. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Hastings. We certainly have our support. Thank you. Councilman Leonardo. Thank you, Chair. I'd like to remind all the uh, residents in District 1 that we're having a very important meeting coming up 
uh, Monday, and it's going to be at 6 uh, p.m. at Greater Faith Missionary Baptist Church, uh, the Bortle Hills Redevelopment District. Uh, there, you know, now that we've uh, moved on with Autumn Hills, we have some vacant land over there, and MDHA would like to construct uh, 40 units over there. So we're going to have a public meeting at uh, Monday, 6 o'clock, Greater Faith Missionary Baptist Church. MDHA will be there to talk about it, to make sure it's something that the residents uh, want to support. So I hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Leonardo. Now, seeing no others in the queue, everyone have a good evening. <laughs>